Hi, Caitlin. I'm so Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> nice to meet you over Zoom. I know it's so nice to meet you. This is so cool. This is so cool for me. I've I've been a huge fan of yours for like a long time. So oh. this is insane. <laughs> this is rad. I, I'm a fan of yours as well. I know you're busy prepping for uh, the film version of Dear Evan Hansen. I can't even tell you, Jimmy. I literally cannot describe to you how excited I am. I think I've only had like three musical auditions in my whole life, and and Evan Hansen was one of them. So. It feels it feels insane that I'm going to be a part of it. I've always wanted to do a musical. Had the other two auditions go not so good? Well, not so good, <laughs> but they were okay. I, I, had the, I had the worst audition ever in the history of the business. Uh, I auditioned to be on Broadway to be uh, uh, Frankenstein in on Young Broadway. Dude, it was. I'll never forget it. I'm, honestly, I'm getting, I, I'm about to vomit right now because I remember going to an apartment. I'm not going to say the casting, the, you know, who was casting me, but uh, the, the piano player was there and I go, I'm just going to sing, you know, putting on the Ritz. I go, yeah, I can do it. If you're blue and you do not, I go, got it. They get there, they go, yeah, we don't want to hear that song. We want to hear this new song. And I'm like, oh, here's where I get busted because I'm not a real actor or a singer. Oh. And it was so bad. Everyone felt so bad in the room. It was awful. And I remember I was so embarrassed when I went home. It was cold. It was like December and there was steam coming off of my body. <laughs> That's how embarrassed I was. <laughs> it was like, well, it was like, like a block my of... Other... <laughs> my other musical audition, that's exactly the same thing that happened to me. They were like, oh, yeah, no, you have the, you're singing in the wrong key. It's actually several <laughs> keys higher than what you have come in to, <laughs> come yeah. in to sing. Yeah. So it was like, Just oh, great, up. I don't have that prepared. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, you're in a band with your sister, Maddie, and you're called, yes. uh, is it Beulah Bell? Yes. Um, you just released a new song, Being You. I, I just heard it. Uh, it's awesome. Congrats on that. Um, Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, but that wasn't, like, that wasn't your first uh, band with your, your sister, I, apparently. It, it, it was not. Um, yeah. We used to be called uh, Hot Pink, <laughs> um, which I think is a great name, and I don't know why we changed it. This is uh, bizarre, but we actually... Uh, talked to some people and we actually got some unseen footage from an early performance of yours. Uh, this is, check out you on guitar. This is pretty awesome. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the commitment I had to, I was like, I, I think I remember telling myself, I need to get down on my knees and really get into it. And then I quickly got up. I was not down on the ground. I got up so fast. You rocked. That is one of the coolest things. Uh, hey, I want to talk about your projects uh, because you have so many uh, besides Dear Evan Hansen. You have a movie out now on HBO and HBO Max called Coastal Elites. How'd you get involved with that? I got a call from Jay Roach, who's the director, and sent me the script, and he asked me to play the role of, of the, the nurse. So there's five separate monologues of all of these different characters sort of like talking about their frustration about the current state of the world, and he asked me to be in it with Bet and Dan Levy and Sarah Paulson and Issa, and I was just sort of like, are you sure? This is like such, this is a lot of pressure, but it was, yeah. it was really incredible to be able to shoot something in, in quarantine. It it's was wild. It's a really uh, cool thing to watch. It's great. Uh, you also have a new series on Hulu called Monsterland. It premieres tomorrow. How would you describe this one? Yeah, Monsterland sort of follows several characters that are, and we follow sort of these broken and troubled people who are forced to sort of um, cope with the darkest parts of themselves. And I play a young girl named Tony, who is a mother to a four-year-old girl. And she is also trying to cope with just, you know, my character is just trying to cope with her inner monster as well. And it was the first time I have ever played a mom in my life. And it was also the first time I did a Cajun French accent, which is as difficult as it sounds. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah. Well, you, you knocked it out of the park. I want to show a clip. Here's a Caitlin Deaver in Monsterland. Take a look at this. My name is Alex. Where are you from, Alex? Uh, nearby. 
You lying already. Why do you assume that I'm lying? Because you ain't talking flat. Folks around here sound like they filed the letter G from working a damn alphabet. I'm here doing a job. Offshore? Mm -hmm. Then you better heal up and get a straight story. Because trouble don't make payday. Well, I'm no trouble. Well, yeah, and I'm the Queen of Sheba. My thanks to Caitlin Deaver. Coastal Elites is on HBO and HBO Max now. And Monsterland premieres on Hulu tomorrow. Thank you so much again for coming on, Caitlin. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jimmy. Thanks for having me. This Whoop. was awesome. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on.